this year for me, I wanted to do some quirky haircuts, I wanted some nice bright colours and short looks. So I actually got like half a dozen of my clients and um, we shot them and we, it was a gamble, but when we shot them, they looked fantastic. And uh, so we went with it. In fact, in my collection, I had two professional models. So it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. What I wanted to get across, it was about my actual hairdressing skills, which I'm quite a strong cutter, with this, because obviously I've, I follow Sassoon and I've had a bit of a Sassoon background. And you can't do that with pro models. And it, I find if you've got a professional model that you actually cut into a beautiful shape, um, everybody's using it. So she goes on everybody's collection. And I wanted something that was more personal to me. And I feel hairdressing now, everyone, we're all concentrating on beautiful little haircuts in the early 90s, but now we're getting a lot more sessiony and we're dressing the hair more and it's getting more beautiful. So I wanted to have a mix of showing my little haircuts, showing my hair up skills, showing my long editorial stuff and just mixing it all in. We named this one The Mermaid just because I just loved the way I dressed it out and it was more editorial and like London Fashion Week and we just put a little bit of blow dry underneath it and it just, it just worked. It was kind of one of those shots. She got in front of the camera, it was like a good hour to do the hair, but she gets in front of the camera and it's a 10 minute shot and we've got it. It yeah. was like bang, it was just done. As a shoot, you've got to have, it's got to be editorial, it's got to be edgy, and you've got to have that wow factor. And I needed more edge this year, so with the haircuts and using clients that I can actually cut and colour the hair, that gave me a little bit of edge to it. So I had my beauty in there, but I also had the edge, and I think that's so important. You've got to have a good contrast across the board. The winner of Southern Hairdresser of the Year is Bruno Mark Giametti. First of all, I was totally thrown because obviously I've been nominated like five, six, five times before, four or five times before, and um, I wanted it so badly this year, more than any other. And what threw me, Jane threw me this year, is because I didn't look at the program. So I'm sat around the table, I've eaten my dinner, and um, it turned around and said, and the next nominee is Southern. I thought, what? Give me that program. And then when they called me out, everything was like, I felt like I was blah, blah, blah. It was like, but I was so excited and adrenaline. You know, no one can take that feeling away. I mean, some of my team have had it, like young Dan Spiller when he won Newcomer last year. And um, it's just phenomenal feeling. For me, I love sharing and giving everything I can back to the industry. But my motto is, learn, share it, and share some more. And, and that's how I work. And I, I can't, can't, say how it's changed my life. It's just amazing. I love it. It's brilliant.